All right, we're live. How y'all doing? Let me see. Are you getting? Yeah. Okay. The music is there. Good. So last time, yeah, I was just advertising this stream. Uh, last time we ran Haskell in the cloud, right? Like using a runtime interface thing, and but it was it wasn't very interesting, right? The you know the I mean, which is a demo kind of. So it was just like a test thing and uh, I mean it just it didn't even parse the input but it just returned success which you know not quite not quite what we want right we want something cool uh, but this time around you know we're gonna check it out see if we can do something more so yeah enjoy uh, here's the stuff I've been working on um, there's nothing you can see from this one Anyway, um, let's see. Let's go back to the container stuff. Larpy, right? Okay, so what do we have here? So yeah, so we managed to make it work on uh, here. Now, uh, is it still running? Yeah. Let's see. See? Yeah, it's still up. Um, and let's actually check. You know what the if people have been actually using it because i said you know i just gave the link out and like hey you can query it if you want right and i think and i have been querying it so let's uh let's see it we gotta authenticate first hold on um uh, let's see uh, oh you saw the password on the keyboard anyway it's my one time I hope it's not enough to hack me, but you know, you never know. Okay, um, let's see here. Now we do have some statistics, right? Uh, this is our LARPY function. Um, let's see, monitor. I'm not sure that it that reaches far behind, far enough behind. Also, yeah, we don't support traces yet. Would be a bit cool to support the traces, right? Let's see if we can make it work. Recent invocations. Uh, so let's look at the week. Um, on the 23rd and then on the 18th. When was our stream? It was okay. It was last last time on the 18th. So yeah, I guess uh, no one's tried it out. Um, wait, is it? Oh, it's the 25th. All right. So someone tried it out last uh, last Friday. It's cool. I hope that you enjoyed. Um. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, Let's try and see if we can make it do something more cool. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the source, right? Vim test. HS. Okay, this is our. Yeah, this is everything here. Now, this is the test package. So what we want to do now is, um, yeah, let's let's quit it here we want to actually you know take this code and we want to move it over here to the AWS LARP cabal right um, yeah, let's see test uh, test that cabal now this is actually gonna be like this and uh, and this is not an executable. This is actually the library AWS LARP. Uh, let's have it in uh, AWS LARP. Um, okay, and then here we are actually just going. I mean, we're going to require base because we're going to be using that, and we're going to require um, AWS uh, LARP. So we don't have main is here for libraries. We actually have uh, 
exposed modules and this is gonna be a okay so let's uh, see um okay let me see this now let's say make dear sirs let me let me just guys I, I don't quite remember how we did it so i have a package here Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So we say HS source there. Okay, let's say touch source. No, RM source. Make. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, we can touch territories. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Oh, AWS LARP Cabal. Let's call this library actually. Let's just call it AWS Synth, and then exposed modules is gonna be uh, AWS dot um, and then uh, H HS source dears is gonna be a uh, source, and then we go to source and we say make dear source. AWS and we say Vim source AWS LARPY dot HS. Okay, hold up. And uh, okay, let's check it out. So this is gonna be module AWS dot LARPY where and now we're essentially gonna copy everything from the this file, right? I mean, we just we just need everything, right? Okay, and let's see. Everything except the main file, right? Okay, so we have the source lambda error invocation error next invocation lambda interface. Yeah. Okay, and now here instead of doing all this. We are just going to import um, AWS.LARP and we're going to remove everything else. Uh, and okay, let's see. Everything except main. And this should be, uh, let's call this LARP lib. Okay, uh, like this. Okay, uh, and now it's just gonna be doing nothing, right? But, okay, and let's see. Cabal build. Let's try and build it. Requires library from my AWS library, but the component mm. Cabal build test. What is it trying to tell us here? Beam, uh, did I have like a no? I didn't have anything. Okay, AWS LARP Cabal exposed modules. Uh, AWS LARP name, AWS LARP. Test and let's see. Test to cabal in here. Yeah, this is like WS LARP like this. And I want to build test. Um, oh. Okay, I'll just rename this uh, to lowercase because I, I I hate the uppercasing thing that that happens. Oh, oh, okay. Let's call. Why did I call it AWS synth? AWS LARPY. Name test. 
I'm getting a notification. Test that cabal. Okay. Eh. Uh, now this is supposed to be. Or is it supposed to be this? Trying AWS LARPY zero. Could not. Well, okay, so why? Let's just rename everything here. Let's say test the cabal. Let's see here. Okay, maybe we have to go to test and be like, uh, well, how do we do the local cabal configuration again? Let's see. Cabal dot project. Uh, uh. Oh. Okay, so it says, you know, okay, let's just say, you know, M, okay, make dear T2, MV test T2. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, I don't want it to do anything with cat. I just, I just wanted to do, you know, this library itself. Internal libraries cannot have the same name as a package. Maybe you want a non-internal library? Okay. That that makes more sense. Yeah, okay. Vim. Uh, AWS LARP Cabal. And we just say library. Now it's compiling. Now let's move test here. Let's dump the cabal project and let's now build. Okay, it seems to be picking up the AWS LARP library, which is cool. Now we have to change the Docker file, right? Uh, global rec package equals test. Add. Uh, okay, now this. Yeah, so we are going to have to add. Add 
Uh, AWS uh, AWS LARPy.cabal here, right? And then we build. Uh, yeah, okay, so. This is gonna be here, right? Cabal build. Um, so we're gonna add the AWS LARPy Cabal. Add a source. So we're gonna have to build AWS LARPy and then, and then we can add test and build the package. I think. Let's see. Now, where do we go? We say here, this is Docker run. Where we were curling. Uh, now, let's build it. Let's just see what happens. Now it has to change everything again, right? Actually, let's not, let's not build the... Let's build, you know, let's build AWS LARP first. And then we can deal with the different packages. Let's see. Should be way faster now. I upgraded the, my router, or like the router we have here, and uh, it's it's like 10 times faster, right? But yeah, it wasn't actually, you know, the download times that we were, we were just taking so long, but... Um, oh. What is going on? So it adds. Why is it adding package first? Oh. Source directory does not exist. Uh, okay, uh, this is going to be package. Why is it saying that source does not exist? Okay. Yeah, it's the same damn thing. What's gonna happen now? Can't find source for AWS LRP in source.
Oh yeah, it's all still using the dependencies from the wreck and warp thing, right? So I think it just works. That's kind of cool. Yeah, now this is, we're not gonna add, we're gonna add package to dollar package. Okay, I was worried we'd have to do the whole, you know, profunctor lens build thing, which would have been too much, but yeah. sure everything's there uh, wait so we maybe huh oh yeah I don't find it right because it's not gonna be yeah wait a minute oops let's just remove it from there and let's see nice weekend I had a I had I went out and took took so many pictures um, it was like a really nice weather yesterday I was out for like five hours took 419 pictures um, and uh, I put one of them on my Instagram I was talking to uh, my PR rep a friend of mine um, and you know it was like hey don't don't post just like all your pictures from one trip like at the same time you gotta parcel it over a couple of days you know uh, which is what I'm gonna do I guess um, so there's just one picture from that trip up now and then I'm gonna do it later uh, I think that's gonna be fine okay let's see St starting larpy building larpy yeah this is looking good right I'm thinking, you know, maybe we can like make a setup.hs that kind of does this docker file stuff. You know, so like the the build artifact is not like an exe. The build artifact is actually, you know, the container you should upload. Because it's a bit tricky to do the compile container, right? Eh? Well, let's see. Let's uh let's run it. Checking. Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so it worked. So you moved everything into a library. Uh, let's see. Git status. Uh, git add sirs. Uh, what is in this shell dot next again? Git add sirs. Okay. Shell dot next. Um, it is Larpy Cabal Change log main setup Git status git add update everything that changed git status Um I might I don't use this main.hs right Cap main.hs uh rm main.hs Try and build it without the main dot uh, Oh. Okay, yeah, this is because I'm not in the Nix shell. Which makes it reject the base. Huh. Damn it. It's all about the base, you know. Uh, let's see, cabal build. 
All right. Nice. So we don't actually need that. Uh, no, I think that means we don't need the uh, setup.hs. And we set up that HS S2 HS. Okay, and let's build again. Okay, so wait, do we not even mention setup that HS here? Uh build type simple. No. Okay, that's it. Uh let's build it again, the container version. Because that's the one we're testing, right? Wasn't I? Oh, yeah, because now I'm in the shell, right? Okay, it didn't need it, which is good. Okay, the deployers is for me, so let's see. Uh, move uh, RP itself itself into a uh, library. Let's see. Uh, let's look at the Docker file. Uh, what do we see here? Test arg test entry. Uh, but what does it say in entry? Okay. Um, Okay, so because here I say test, I wonder if I can say test two. Let's see, CP test, test two. Yeah, okay, and then we go to test two. Uh, we go to the main, and this is gonna be LARP lib two. And we go to test two, test all, and we call this test. And then it's gonna be executable. Test two, and we move test two test dot cabal to test two test dot two dot cabal cabal. Yeah. So now then we have to go back to the next shell and just uh, shell. Let's do. We want to build the test two, right? And I want to see, because I want to see, you know, can I build the container and like, you know, run different versions of the, of the executable. Oh no, okay, let's do it a different way. Um, let's go to test, test a cabal, and then let's use this and then, you know, Make it, and then this is going to be main two dot hs uh, main and then it's copy main main two dot hs rm uh, and then we go main two dot hs and that's what's going to be yeah lib two okay uh, and then rm rf test two because it's only gonna put in the test package, right? Like the copy the source. So let's let's try this. Because I want to see, you know, can we can we define like a Haskell library that has that has a a, a bunch of different uh, like a, a couple of executables, right? And can we make it? run each of those executables uh, by passing the argument because i think it should oh no we because we say dollar xc there okay so let's see bin docker file uh and then let's say uh this is this is not supposed to be x this is supposed to be the package i think I don't know if it's gonna it's is it gonna build a package yeah okay up to date okay that's weird um 
but now it wrote test uh, okay okay so it's building XE test and XE test 2 on this one yeah okay and starting test yeah starting building test 2 okay yeah Uh, yeah, I, I don't think people want to be deploying like the same like multiple packages in the same container But it they should be able to you know deploy different executables from the same package and uh, You know cuz you know otherwise you just make a different container, right? So let's start test 2 And let's see Nice, okay, so we can we can build multiple executables in each package. They can have, you know, different source files. And then here, you know, we can now start test and, you know, it, it returns lib, right? Because that's what, that's what that web service was about, right? So now, now we can make it do two web services, which is cool. Okay, now let's think about a bit. Okay, I got some more coffee. Mm. Coffee is good. I'm drinking it way too late though, but you know, I stay up a bit late also. It's fine. It all works out. Okay, LARPY latest. Yeah. Um, now let's go on Hackage. Let's see. You know, Hackage. Uh, you know, we want to upload the library on Hackage. Because I don't. I've never done. Uh, I've never done that. Uh, like a, I never had my. Uh, upload let's see upload puts a package okay so you can only upload a package version once and this cannot be undone so try to get right the first time use the package candidates feature okay because each package added to the main package yes i think this is a useful package must be in the form produced by s's format Open source license it build this package candidate. Uh, yeah, I think we will do this Okay, so upload a package candidate now let's build here uh, Yeah, we need the mix shell So the package candidate here is just gonna be the library, right? So people can download and use the library Okay, so Cobol build. Uh, wait, it's it's uh, less, and then go s dist. Uh, yeah, okay. Cobol s. I uh, so it's yeah. Cobol s dist. Yeah, okay. Cobol s dist. E AWS LRP. The component library cannot be packaged for distribution on its own. Okay, so entire packages. Okay, wrote tarball s dist to. Okay, now let's copy this over. Uh, to cp dist new style s dist aws library target. And then we copy it over to mount hdf yung. Okay, let's copy it over. And then we open it on the uh, Windows side. Let me see. Uh, or two machines. You. Uh, oh. Okay, wait. Where is the. Um, where do the files go? I, I don't quite remember. Wait, let me see. Uh, sayings. Yeah, this is the thing about virtual machines, right? You don't have a... Hey, Oliver. Nice to see you again. Now it's a... It's a using... Sir. I don't think I've been sir before. No. Okay, where is it? It's in a manage... No. Movable devices. No, it's it's somewhere. Uh, it's somewhere. Uh, 
is that preferences shared VMs no uh, I don't remember which uh, what what it, what it called it because I think it's per it's per it's per yeah I think it's per device uh, options yeah here we go C documents virtual machines no this is the shared folders yeah oh it's in Dropbox wow why would I put it there okay anyway that's one way to make sure you can share stuff okay um aws lrp.tar.guz copy it over somewhere uh to some place which is not dropbox okay uh lrp okay so now we, i'll show you in a while i'll just yeah okay here we go so here's the guz file and uh, I want to uh, extract to here yeah oh my god that is such a bad thing okay AWS LARP yeah okay so it's just source and the change log and the license and the cabal file yeah it's a very minimal which is good now let's make sure that the license is correct yes and what is the change log uh, uh so 2021 uh, 01 what is the uh date it's the 25th okay uh git add s git if head cat docker file um i think i should add the docker file here to the estist actually i don't i don't think that's wrong actually um so i would do that by doing here and this extra source files thing there we actually add a docker file and then if we do uh, uh oh yeah oh no wait now if i have to like i have to copy the docker file into the file add docker file period okay and then we go out and we build it just to make sure that it works now the docker container contains the docker file that's not good you know it means that every time we edit the docker file we invalidate everything that comes after the point where we add it but that's okay that's fine, fine. We, don't, we shouldn't be editing it too much actually oh. Yeah, so I got a new router. I was using like the the router uh, the ISP provided me, and uh, you know, because I I'd had the same experience in Sweden. I was like, you know, I was just gonna buy a proper router. I did that in Sweden, worked out great. So now I did that here as well. What does that mean? Well, now I have like a proper gaming router or whatever, which can support. Um, it's like Wi-Fi 6 and I don't have a single Wi-Fi 6 device, but you know, it's just like it can do 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I can actually get, you know, half a half a gigabit, you know, into this laptop, which is in a completely different room from the router. And it's not even trying too hard, you know, which means that because like the issue I had with the other one is like it would do 5G, like 5 gigahertz. And then it would just drop out and you would be back on 2.4 and like and we'd actually have a drop in the connection which is so annoying so anyway it all it's all good now uh, now let's copy it over again and let's see uh, no, no, no 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 oh i could do that wait okay uh, cp this new style s this aws larp targets and we're gonna move that to mount and um, we're actually gonna choose a file 
we're gonna go well here's all my videos uh there's no bad videos there so it's okay vm shared folders new uh everything i've shared nothing incriminating here either make sure you don't do incriminating things on stream you know oh no i forgot i uh, do i have an account at hackage i have one at hackage.org um Let's see if I'm at the complete user list. Because if I am... No, I'm not here. Okay. Uh, it would make sense. Okay, my, my name. Matthias Halton. He's your Russian. Don't look. MPG yet. Uh, okay. Request account. Uh, now I'm gonna go to somewhere different because <sighs> I like I get confirmation codes and stuff sent to the email right and then it would be bad if that was revealed to y'all can I just do it on the phone I, let me see do, 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 do. Yeah, so this is what real programming is like, you know, it's mostly about... Yeah, you, just, you know, you're, you're not... I don't know. Because, you know, if you do programming competitions, it's all about like, oh, let me do this super optimal solution to this one problem. I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I don't want to gatekeep, right? It's not like... Not like that's not real programming, but it's like, I don't know, it's... Oh my god, continue. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, it's not, I'm not gatekeeping. I'm more saying that uh, this is more real world programming, I guess. I, yeah, saying, saying not real programming, that is gatekeeping, right? I mean, if you, if you actually go to work and you you write a super optimal you know list sort or whatever that's it uh, i mean that would be cool but uh, that's that's not what i've never done that you know uh i want to add a new account okay now upload uh upload no wait yeah i'm doing candidate package yeah package candidate choose file no yeah and we choose the file and i say it treat low and then paste that paste it yeah that should be fine you can have it here on the non-shared screen so you guys can't steal my packages yeah exactly yeah i mean you know you have to you have to do all this stuff because like you know because your job is to make it work what no access for this resource uh okay let me see can i manage this account uh why is why is my oh my god that's annoying okay you should check that your open source support builds including adding documentation oh we we have to add documentation that is true Categories are determined when you put in category field to try to make existing categories as possible. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need to do those things, right? Let's check it out. Um, license. This is the test one, yeah. 
Okay, let's go Q8. Uh, Vim. License file, license maintainer, copyright. Uh, I don't know. Category. Now, okay. What is the category here? Package category. Yeah, sorry, I lost the chapter for a bit. Uh, which Win 10 do you use? So, on my home computer, I have the two, 2004, 2004, 2004, I think. But I can't update it on this one because it's this is a work work laptop so it's 1904 here uh, i wish i had 2004 but uh because then i could draw on vsl2 and this would all be much nicer but uh i don't that's just how it is um let's see no uh what is the packages here What's new? Uh, mm. Sangor, one of my favorites. He's always uploading cool stuff, crazy stuff, but uh, cool. Okay, uh, here we have something, right? We can definitely. They, they, uh, there's no AWS. Oh. A, wait there is AWS that's a category yeah okay let's just set that as a category what's the synopsis here uh, a a library uh, you package a Haskell functions for easy use on AWS Lambda. It's synopsis of this package, right? See, uh, what was Sasangor? He definitely has a like a good Cabal file, right? Which which is probably let's let's just copy that guy. Uh, generic lens and that Cabal. Okay, what fields does he have? Name, version, synopsis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we need a description. Uh, well, let's see. AWS LARPY Wait, the AWS uh, LARPY package allows you to uh, uh, interact with a, it allows you to run a, a Haskell code on AWS Uh, by defining a simple uh, request handler for uh, AWS Lambda requests. By defining a simple and then uh, packaging it uh, using the uh, the attached the the docker file included uh what more does he say a kiss song or maintainer yeah i should have a maintainer uh let me see maintainer okay ask me yeah song or author license license okay yeah, i should i had license here to say just say you know license it's a uh, mit Copyright uh, category build type simple cabal version tested with tested with right uh, This is tested with GT 8.8.3 Tested with GHC equals equals 8.8.3 Okay, um, let's see. 
Extra source files, yeah. Uh, HS source here, different language. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. Now, I think we should we should add some documentation, right? Gamesters, uh, uh, AWSRP. Um, okay, how do we do, when we write good? Let's see. Um, so. Because I think it's actually so we should actually just yeah we should say module aws slurpy where and so we're going to select what we're going to export right so because these are mostly internal right so this is run lambda interface run lambda interface and then it's our um we are going to um this yeah so we have to export lambda interface uh, lambda invocation and lambda error is there anything else here okay config uh, no okay these are all by strings lambda invocations lambda error yeah okay invocation initialization these are all use internally right so okay so it says li in it case iris just error yeah okay i think this is the this is what we want to export right now we should uh we should document The uh, li handler is the function that is run on every invocation on every lambda invocation. Uh, where results uh, must be a JSON. The results uh, will be done as a JSON object for a JSON object as this is what most a uh, AWS API as a as a as a as, a, as, a, as JSON right as JSON as this is what most AWS APIs AWS APIs uh, expect now ally in it runs uh, maybe lambda error Now this is curious, right? We should probably allow ally in it to return something, um, and then we want we want ally in it to. So it's, this is gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be s comma. Okay, so here we're gonna say for all s period. Now this is gonna take a, an s and a lambda invocation. Okay, this is like the state trick. Like we, we we don't want this s escaping, but you know we want to be able to define a handler and the initializer to to use it. Li in it uh, the the li in it function is called at the start of the program um, uh, 
No. Okay. So okay. This is. Uh, it's just, so this is not gonna be. This is gonna be actually not maybe lambda. It's gonna be either lambda error or s. The li function is called at the start of the program to initiate initialize the uh, functions. To initialize the lambda function, the uh, initial state is then passed to the handler at each invocation. Okay, and now let's see. We want we have the initial state. Um, how do we want to do this? We have the initial state, we have the invocation, and then we have the IO error. So we probably, we want to return, you know, A comma S. Okay, so, because we want to, no. Uh, so this will be, we will always return an either lambda error s so s comma either lambda error a yeah okay so so this will be okay so let's this is going to be iris of i'll and so case at iris of left error okay if it's right in its state then we pass that on to the loop in its state uh state Okay, uh, no, let's have that after the configuration because the configuration is the same. Uh, loop comp state handler equals do next invocation. Okay, so handler state lambda invocation case res of left uh, case res of okay, so, uh, so this is going to be s comma left l error. Okay, so this is gonna actually going to be s comma res. Uh, this will be next state uh, after we call the handler with. Uh, this is going to be cur state. Okay, and it, so this is here we call it with init state. Now, if we get the next state, handler cur state now the next state res and then we're going to loop again with the next state you see this allows you to kind of you know you know this, this state here could be an iof containing a database connection or, or whatever you know you can you can put whatever you want in there the state to initialize the lambda function a uh, comma and some uh, optional state the state is then passed to the handler at each location i think this is a good way to do it um and then we can just then we have okay so your lambda interface a yeah now let's actually see you know this is work uh, now we have to fix a test. Uh, okay, Do we have to fix test. Actually, we're gonna fix test. We're also gonna fix test. Uh, test uh, cabal because we don't want the test to anymore. We don't. We don't care about that. We don't want to. We don't want to make sure that test is all to like main two is always up to date, right? Okay. So main dot uh, e test and main dot Now this is going to be the li handler. The li init here is going to return nothing. No, it's going to return write zero int. And it's going to be maintaining some state. Uh, this is going to be the, the LI handler. 
uh, S, right? And we're gonna say print E. Um, so this is gonna be do. Um, as we're gonna say return S plus one comma right. I mean, so we can actually, because we're always in IO here. We could, we could just, um, you know, we, the Lambda interface could be, can contain an IO ref or something like that. But uh, let's just see if this works actually. Come on, build. Okay, we need to, yeah. Exist, existential quantification. That's what I wanted, right? X is ential. X, X is ential. Quantification. Okay, let's go. is ten ten chill right ah, i always grew up that word existence existential all the same right okay now can we build test oh right I'm worried about this a bit, right? Because um, this is not going to be... This is going to be a state per function. I'm just wondering, you know, should we... Should we even be doing this? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we want it another way. We want we want to allow some initial state, uh, but we don't want to be able to return that state. I think that's the way to go. Because uh, it's gonna be it's just gonna confuse people, you know. Um. Yeah, because it's yeah, because we yeah, first function is gonna do something. Couple of yeah, I don't know. That's it's not good. It's not gonna be good. Uh, yeah, curse state. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be. Neat. I mean, we definitely want to be able to initialize, you know, some database connection or something like that, right? But uh, uh, we don't want to be returning it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. S E. Nice. Okay, so it builds. No. Okay, so I think that's. Yeah, that's how we want to design this library, right? Status then pass to the function. Okay, let's see. Next invocation, initialization error, invocation error, invocation response. These are none of these are. Um, none of these are uh, exported. The config is not exported. Uh, let's let's move these actually all the way down here. And let's go exports because these are exactly exactly the exports
Oh, okay, let's see. What? Okay. Um. Can I do a uh, cabal hatter? Oh no, Jesus. Let's look at generic lens again. I'm not sure it's like a good, it's not, it's not a good library to compare with. Cause like the, you know, it's just a weird, a bunch of weird stuff, you know, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. Let's see. Subtype. Okay. Yeah. Class is documented like that. Um, uh, let's see. say here and we go like this and we delete it like this and we go like this and we go like this and we just say a uh, uh, a lambda interface consists of two functions Send pants to the handler a communication, e.g., a database connection or similar. Uh, this is what most AWS APIs expect. Um, um, the first argument is the uh, result of the uh, ally init function. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Search as a database authentication database connection or an IO ref or similar the second uh, existentially quantified exist existentially quantified right uh, in the same manner as the st mon monad to avoid state escaping escaping okay um the lambda error uh lamb lambda error uh lambda error is uh consists of a message and uh an error type both of which uh, the user can uh, define oh let me see okay cobol haddock um, okay what's the issue here um Maybe it doesn't like it this way. Uh, 
Uh... Era. Haskell had a Let's see. Let's see what they want. What do they want from us? Uh, okay. Oh, the following declaration. Okay. Okay, um, we're in areas that we could not find link destinations for two JSON. Okay, is that not documented in ASIN? Okay, uh, Lambda interface. Okay, now let's see. Run lambda in the interface is should be provided with the the uh, definition of the interface to run and handles the. Uh, interaction with the AWS API such as the uh, waiting for next requests and in initializing the function at the start Okay, now we have to say, okay, this is actually going to be like this. Uh, Lambda invocation contains the body of the requests. And uh, a few headers defined by AWS. AWS. They are only the uh, uh, AWS quest. I D header a is guaranteed to be defined. Uh, have a look at what did it call it? AWS runtime. The headers are the following and then I'm just going to copy paste from here uh, set paste okay and then we do We're gonna fix it. Wait. And now I'll erase these. Um,
Okay, so the deadline MS and then it's the uh, uh, function R in here and, and the trace ID and it's gonna be client context uh, and uh, cognito identity. Okay, uh, yeah. So here we define the headers. Let's make this a, a bit nicer laid out. Data about the client application and device. Data about uh, oh, I don't I don't need this. I just need it like this, and then this should be oh my god, should be like this. Uh, so I'm just gonna have it like this. Uh, no, yeah. Let's keep it like this. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So yeah, I also have to implement the uh, this trace ID because it says uh, the runtime should set the X Amazon trace ID with the value of the header. So. What, what I don't know is this, where is this? Um, okay, the X Amazon trace ID environment variable. So, okay, I want to do the following, a loop conf. Next invocation conf, okay. And then I'm gonna say here, case case uh, li uh, case no what is it called it's called a uh, trace id so it's gonna be case trace id of just bs and we're gonna set it uh let's see look up and uh google it says it must be a set and function, right? Yes. Okay, now let's see. Set. It's gonna be set and uh, X Amazon trace ID. That's the name, right? Of the variable X. Uh, let's just copy paste it. Because uh, it, it's not mentioned, right? It's just said. You should do this, um, which is annoying. Uh, um, return. Set env, and then what do we do? We got a packet, right? Google uh, pack. Yeah. Uh, we gotta no we gotta we gotta unpack it uh, BS it's called BS right a B yeah B dot pack uh, BS uh, expected case inspection and function application um, uh, what is going on? What's going on? On 
uh, case uh, ally trace id of Just that, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have a tab here. Jeez. Case. Unexpected case expression in function application. What are you? What's this bullshit? otherwise right perhaps you could write it with parentheses mm, no, I don't think that will help oh my god why am I why is it doing tab characters I'm just gonna say if is just uh, like trace ID uh, L I oh my God. is just L I trace ID and then See like this when it's just here we go. From just um
backpack packet. Expected type. And packet. Sometimes it gets into this thing where it's using tabs for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, now it also sets the AWS Trace, Amazon Trace ID, right? Which is, which actually allows it to do the Amazon tracing. Um, uh, the handler takes care of such as the waiting for the next request, a uh, next request, comma, responding to the right request, uh, setting the uh, X ray trace ID and do everything that we should be doing right because we talked about that last time of all had that we weren't doing that right let's see what does this mean uh, missing documentation for module header So I guess I guess uh, we just start off with that. Then there's a you know, um, uh, EWS uh, LARP, uh, EWS LARP library. Define a uh, defines functions. Uh, Defines the interface and the associated data types for running uh, as or program directly on AWS Lambda uh, without uh, Uh, and handles the most of I'm gonna say most of I don't want to promise anything most of the uh, overheads uh, leaving the user free to uh, focus on the functionality itself Cobol Haddock Let's look at it. Uh, Chromium, uh, WS, uh, this new style build x86 for Linux GC23, AWS LARP doc HTML, AWS LARP. Index. It looks okay. This looks good. <laughs> oh, okay, this is not good. Um uh... How do I create a list? Oh. Uh oh just so I have to use star? Okay. Let's say uh, use star then. Uh, 
Um, Okay, I have to do it in that. Okay. Hey, let's see. Uh, so I have to, I think, erase this. And where is it? Chromium. This new style. Uh, build. Do you see? Okay. AWS LRP. Uh, doc HTML. Uh, index HTML. AWS LRP. Index HTML. Oh. Okay. No, it didn't work. This just does not work. Uh, see. Uh, okay, how do we do like a list? How does it work? This is bullet list, first item, and more content for the first item. <sighs> I think, yeah, okay. This was working better, right? So now I think it's better if we have this as like this can I like no okay um, 
How about this? God damn it. Eh. Oh, why is it? It says, talks about nested. This belongs to the list above. I just have to indent it enough. Trace ID. Maybe I have to like do the same here, like make it start here. Yeah, I think this looks good, right? Now we can just document it. It's um uh, Let's change the synopsis a bit actually. Uh, uh do a slurpy cabal. Uh let's just say here. Package for easy yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this one. No, I think this is good. And then we have... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, let me go back to the... The... Cabal. We're uh, using the Docker file included. Uh, based on the... EWS uh, runtime interface API, uh, which is this one here. Uh, AWS Lambda runtime API. AWS uh, based on the AWS Lambda runtime API. API and can I have a can it does this work? Cabal Haddock. Okay, how do I do Haddock? I think <laughs> K 
can I like uh... Uh, okay, I think it's just, it's just, I mean, this isn't too bad, right? It's gonna be, uh... Hmm. Oh, I can take, I can do that. Okay, let's do that. Uh, based on the AWS Lambda. Uh, oh, I, let's see here uses the and then like this uh, oh my god they should be good I think AWS runtime run, run API period. Okay. Um. Like this. And then. Yeah, I think this looks good. I, I was all talking about it, and we have like this encapsulated state here. And this is a lambda invocation, lambda error. Okay, let's change that. Uh, let's change it. Uh, let's change it to be, you know, not just li. Let's change it here to be uh, sirs. I do is love you to do so. Yeah, we were just being lazy. Okay, uh, lambda interface, lambda invocation. And here, you know, instead of saying lambda li, we say lambda invocation. Like this. Build it. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, okay. Serious. still works right what is this all oh, right nice okay now let's run cabal haddock again Interface, run my interface. Nice. Yeah, I think this looks like a nice library, right? Oh. Uh, oh, wait. No. Oh. Index.html. And synopsis, nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna take a 
two minute break uh, yeah and then we'll tr we'll try and see you know if we can update it to upload it to lamp or to package okay hold on Okay, let's see. Mm, I'm back. From outer space. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. Let's at least, you know, let's commit it. Oh, here. Uh, okay, get status. We s test it and then we copy the this one to uh, this one and we will uh, uh, we will try to upload it again to hackage if that works now um, okay You can view these warnings with Cobalt check. Okay, that let's just do that. That seems easier. Cobalt check. Uh, warning. These warnings are custom. When distributing packages, is encouraged to specify source control information in Cobalt file using support zero. Okay. Then uh, a ABSLB. Okay. Let's say here uh, source re repository uh tories oh wait source repository uh and yeah okay and this is treat low aws lrp uh let's see um what yeah we're AWS LARPY and yeah, let's see it here. Um, source using one or more source repository sections. Okay. Um, oh, section. Okay, how does how does they do that? Uh, how does Songer do that? Uh, let's see. Generic lens, Cabal, test suite, test suite, test suite, uh, source. Um, Cabal, uh, source repository. That must be some documentation on it, right? Um, there's no sensor. Okay. Uh, oh. Encouraged to specify in the doc cabal file using one or more source repository section. I mean, this will just not 
work, right? Uh, source repository requires exactly one argument. repository uh, sauce report uh, head okay type yeah okay nice let's see let's go home page Okay, we can put this this in home page, right? Home page. Okay. Um, like this. That's the home page, and then source repository uh, master. repository master and a uh, type a uh, git and then i guess i give a for git yeah okay uh do i say location first or something yeah location going to be git I think it's yeah github.com slash full bar git yeah trade low digital library dot git cobalt check no warnings okay git commit and no warnings in cobalt check Okay, a uh, cabal estist and copy the estist uh, to uh, and now we are going to let's because we're going to be. We're actually going to be uh, look like we're going to be uploading this exact file. So let's let's do that. Um, let's just take a look at the file. See that it's the indeed the uh, right one. Okay, and we have the cabal file and the source and change log. I mean, it seems, seems legit, right? Uh, let's open this in the VS Code uh, just to check its contents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. All right. Then let's say uh, let's upload it. Let's upload a package. Uh, upload. Choose file. And we use RP. This is a file. Upload package. <sighs> MPG. Okay, let's, let's contact them. Uh, I guess I guess we can't upload it today then. 
But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's ask him. I think they all love me. I, I am, I'm in good standing. I haven't made them mad. Um, so I think I'm good. Let's see, opening the Gmail. We gotta send an email. Hey, yeah. But I think, yeah, we're, we're on the, it seems pretty good. Okay, Gmail is just not loading for me, which is, that's bizarre. But I'm still streaming, so my internet is not worked. Uh, it, it, is Gmail down? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Gmail. I mean, Gmail works on my phone. Worked earlier also. Okay, processing requests. Nice. Okay, um, signed it from the one I signed up with. Okay. Compose. Hackage trustees. Be subject becoming a hackage hackage uploader. And I'll just say, hey there. I want I would like to be added to the hackage uploaders group. I want to Publish my my AWS dot LARP AWS LARP package. Uh, package for uh, making to make it easier for Haskellers to run their Haskell code directly on AWS Lambda. More information here. And I sent them the link. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I sent the email. I guess, you know, I won't I won't be able to get it today, but you know, it should be work. I, I, I don't expect it to be too long, but uh, all right. Let's uh, do one last thing. Let's, let's add a little bit of readme here. We already have the this description here. Uh, let's just do, you know, readme.md. Oh my God. E readme.md. Uh, oh my God. AWS LRP. Yeah. By defining a simple request runner and then packaging it using Docker file. So it uses the. Uh, uh, okay, wait. Uh, how do you do it in, in Markdown again? Markdown links. I never remember. It's like. Because it's either. It's either like, you know, uh, brackets first and then. Then parentheses or. Whatever I don't okay. Yeah, I it's like this. Uh, oh my god! It's like this. Uh, oh my god! Uh, like this. Yes, runtime API, yeah, PQA. Uh, it's this. Git add readme. Commit am add a readme. Git push. Now let's look here. Nice. And let's see. 
that sad ass synopsis. Uh, what is what was our synopsis? We have it here. Let's just open it in Notepad. That is easier. Uh, we already had it. Yeah. And uh, let's actually create a tag. Um, how do I create a tag? Tags. Green release. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.0.1.0. .0 right, that's the... Uh, no, I think it's... it's That's not the right one. Yeah, it's this 0 0.1.0.0. .0 .0. Initial release. That supports uh, X ray tracing and uh, and uh, initial states and uh, and uh, initial states and a uh, uh, function initialization and uh, and uh, helpers and uh, invocation and uh, it's not production ready but you know it's uh, it's getting there yeah so yeah i think next time uh, next up, we would like to uh, we want to upload this package on Hackage. I hope I hope I hope I'll be allowed at that point. And and um and then we will. I I want to create the setup that it has so that it kind of runs Docker commands and and you know actually creates a container that you can upload. Uh, I think that would be cool. That would be cool. Because like that was, you know, a big part of it, right? How do we create the container to run it? All right, that's uh, I guess that's it for now. We just have to wait for the, uh, the for the for it to be allowed. But uh, I think it's good. We have a library. We have a test. Works great. We have lots of documentation. Yeah, I think it's good stuff. All right, see you. Yeah, hopefully maybe tomorrow if it's if we've got the yeah. Let's let's say tomorrow, six o'clock tomorrow. I, I hope they're quick enough, the trustees. Yeah. Alright. Catch you then. Bye-bye.